Hello guys, welcome back to the Hitchcock Takeover here on Beyond the Realms, and today I'm going to be reviewing his film from 1942, entitled Saboteur, not to be confused with the earlier film Sabotage that he did when he was still in Britain. Uh, Saboteur tells the story of Barry, who works at a, um, uh, an airplane factory. And um, one day, there is a fire that breaks out, so Barry and one of his friends go over, and they're going to try to help out, uh, put the fire out. Well, this guy named Fry comes by and hands Barry a fire extinguisher, to which Barry's friend's like, you know, let, let me in on the fun, give it to me. So Barry throws it to him, he starts to extinguish the fire and quickly goes up in flames, and just and it also causes the, the already going fire to get that much worse. Well, come to find out that that fire extinguisher was filled with gasoline. So, Barry is being called a saboteur, and he has to go on the run to prove his innocence. <laughs> Imagine that in a Hitchcock film. Um, but guys, I'm telling you, as many times as he's used that in a lot of his films, it just works. He is able to make it work time and time again. Now, granted, this is earlier in his career, um, but, you know, it, it really, really works. Um, you know, Barry, uh, basically what happens before the fire, he sees this uh, letter that Fry is sending out, and he ends up remembering the address, so he's trying to get to this place. Um, and along the way, uh, he, he gets there, and then he finds this, this guy that is, um, what's his name, uh, Tobin who is a very well-to-do man, and Barry thinks that Tobin can help him locate Fry, but actually Tobin calls the cops on him. The cops uh, show up, Barry has to take off, and he's really on the run then, and he comes up to this house deep in the woods of this guy that is blind, but he's a very, very nice guy. Kind of reminded me of the scene in uh, Bride of Frankenstein, actually, because, you know, Barry's handcuffed, so he's trying to keep hidden and all this stuff, and then he finds out the guy is is blind and all this. But the guy, the guy realizes that Barry's handcuffed. He realizes he's on the run, but he knows there's something good about him. So that's kind of like how Bride of Frankenstein plays out. You know, the the blind guy can see the good in Frankenstein, whereas the blind guy see the good in Barry here. Um, and it's a really cool scene. But um, the guy's uh, what is it? It's his granddaughter, I believe, named Pat, shows up. Well, he tells Pat to take Barry to um, a locksmith there in town to get his handcuffs taken off. But on the way, Pat decides she's going to take him to the police station, turn him in, because she, she knows it's the right thing to do. Um, but eventually, um, she ends up you know, realizing that Barry is innocent through a lot of different twists and turns that happens. It takes her a long time to figure this out, but she eventually comes to help him. Um, and, you know, that that's really the story of, of Saboteur. Um, guys, I really enjoyed this film a lot. I thought it was excellent. I mean, you know, it's like I mentioned, as many times as he used that theme of a guy on the run that's been accused of something wrong, but yet he's innocent... I mean, it's just amazing how many times Hitchcock could use that and still make it work and still make it fresh. That's, you know, because I've seen several of those films like that from him and a lot of those later than 1942. So, you know, this was a very fresh idea to me, even though it is one of the earlier films he used that on. But it just works. I mean, he's just able to pull it off. And... Um, you know, the guy that plays Barry, Robert Cummings, he, he looks a lot like, um, I can't think of the guy's name, but the dad in Pet Cemetery. He looks like a younger version of him. That's him there. That doesn't really show it too well. But every time I saw that guy, I kept thinking of the guy in Pet Cemetery. Um, but one thing I like about this is how, you know, the, uh, the terrorist organization that uh, Barry is trying to expose that Fry works for. Um, they're split into two factions, and they obviously don't have too good of communication because um, the one side that's chasing Barry, you know, they're trying to get to him, but then Barry gets away from them and gets to the to the other 
this other part of the faction of the, the terrorist organization, and they don't realize that um, Barry is uh, didn't actually do this terrorist attack. Like, they heard, you know, about this fire at this airplane plant and all this, and, but they don't realize that Barry was set up. So Barry says, yes, I was the one involved. So he kind of gets in with the terrorist organization to be able to help bring them down. Um, it's very, very awesome. I love the premise. I like how that works out. And, um, you know, there's a really cool set piece with um, the Statue of Liberty in this towards the end. Uh, there's, a, there's a really cool action sequence that takes place right at the Statue of Liberty and on the Statue of Liberty, and it just looks great. I mean, the effects are really, really good, and um, I thought they did an excellent job on that. Uh, but Saboteur, guys, this is a really awesome movie. I highly recommend checking this out. It's in the, the Masterpiece Collection. This Blu-ray looks fantastic. Um, it really looks good. I mean, it's right up there. Um, with like Psycho and films like that as, as one of the best looking black and white films that I've seen. Now, of course, it is full screen because, you know, that's all they had at the time. It was filmed, originally filmed at full screen. Um, but yeah, it's a fantastic movie. So guys, I'm going to give Saboteur an 8 out of 10. Um, definitely check it out. You know, it's, it's a, um, I guess, action uh, adventure, mystery, suspense, romance, you know, Hitchcock kind of threw all kinds of elements into the pot, mixed it up, and served it as his own plate, and that's what he does here, and he does it like nobody else. So, yeah, guys, check it out. That is Saboteur. I appreciate you all watching. Have a good one. Later.